Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this tissue box. This is for your handbag, or in America you call them purses. Um, yeah, this holds a packet of tissues. This come about was I made myself a box like this for my cigarettes. I know, I smoke. Get over it. <coughs> I'm sorry for being rude. Um, and I showed my sister what I made and she said, oh that I make an ideal tissue box. So she gave me her screwed up tissues but they, my cigarette box was just about a quarter of an inch too short. So I says, oh I'll make you one. So I did. Her and a friend I made a tissue box for. And I thought, oh, I'll film it. So this is held together by magnets. There's two magnets there and obviously there. And because of the way I made it, the sides are pretty strong. That will stop it from getting crushed in your handbag. And so to make this, I have got two pieces of card. And I can't remember the length of them. They are five and one eighth by four and one eighth, and the big bit is eight and three eighths by three and seven eighths. Right, to score, I've got my scoreboard here. Right, with the four and one eighth here, we will score at one inch. Turn it right round and score at one inch. That will leave that at two and one eighth in the middle. Turn it round. So it's at the five and one eighth and score oops, one inch. That's all we want on there. The bigger bit, put it in with the short side across the top and we're going to score at seven eighths of an inch. Turn it all the way around and score at seven eighths of an inch. Right, and with the long side, we're going to score it at one inch. Turn it round, and we're going to score it at three and a half inches. Sorry, two and a half inches and three and a half inches. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. So it's two and a half and three and a half. And that would make that odd because it's in the middle, it's a sixteenth. So that is your scoring done. Right. With your paper snips and with the one inch score at the bottom, you want to let me get this right, yeah. Cut up. and wedge out a little bit, wedge out a little bit there and do the same this side, cut up, wedge out and wedge out. This one here you cut up to the score line, up to the score line. Oh, in fact, we cut all this off. So, cut up to the score line, and then we cut all this off. And 
the same this side. And that is what this should end up with. On the front one, we're going to cut it up and out. Cut out them squares. And that's it. All you've got to do. Now we need to just burnish our score lines. With our trio punch here, I am going to round the corners on this long bit here. Alright, and with this we can start sticking some papers on. Now I've got some retired papers. So we have a piece here which it measures two inches by four inches. That will go on there. This is the back. So we've got to be careful where we're sticking. Right. I have a piece that goes on here. And that is too long. I'll cut that down in a minute. How long is it? Three and a, two and a half. That should be two and three eighths. So let's oh here yeah, I've got two bits, so I'll cut them both together. Could use my trimmer. Yeah, that do. Now these have to be rounded off. The corners have to be rounded off. It's a great little project for using up your um, scrap paper. That's what I do. So we can put on. The two by four, the two and two inch by two and three eighths of an inch, and the seven eighth by two and one eighth or two inch, sorry, piece there. We can stick all these on because these are. There's no magnets to go under these ones, so I'm going to stick them on now. I mean, you don't have to put them on now, you can put them on once it's assembled. But I'm putting them on while it's flat because it is easier.
on the front the only bits we can put on we can't put this bit on because the magnets have got to go on here and here but we could add the one inch there On this one, we can add the two side panels, which measure seven eighths of an inch by four inches. Yeah, seven eighths of an inch by four inch. So we can add them on. and a one inch piece so you need three of these seven eighths by two inch pieces you need two of these seven eighths by four inch pieces you need two of these two by fours and two of these two and Three eighths, I said, yeah, two and three eighths by two. All right, now we're going to put the board thing together. Now, if you notice, or you're taking notes, you'll notice that we scored one inch on here, but only seven eighths of an inch on this side. That is so that these will sit really nice together and the underneath one isn't buckling up isn't right up above it up against it you know buckling up because you can't bend over and have it lined up if they're both an inch well I find that I find it better if you cut it a bit shorter even if you cut it one sixteenth of an inch shorter But then if you're using the scoreboard, it doesn't have sixteenth of an inch scoring. Right. To join these together, I've glued the underneath one. And I'm going to put this down and I'm button it up right up to the score line. And then rubbing it down. This one should, yep. Right. Glue all this again. Making my pretty patterns with my glue. <laughs> is our box forming. Now then, to do the middle, you put your tissues in, put that bit flat and then fold down first your back, then put some glue on your tabs and 
glue your tabs down. The reason you're putting your tabs down after the back is so that the inside it looks all neat and tidy and you can't see your tabs. And you glue the front bit and you glue that down. Putting the tissues in helps you to make it square, keeps it square. Right, now we need to put the batteries on. Batteries. The magnets. I've got my glue dots and put two lots of batteries in here. Right, we want four batteries. These are very strong, these. So, one, two, three, four. These were sent to me in this tub, so I just keep them in there, out the way. Right. <coughs> what I'm going to do with each battery is stick that on there. Now I'm getting that to find its mate so I know I put the glue dot on the right side. because I have done it, just plonk the glue dot on and I put it on the negative side and not the positive side. So, there I have my um, magnets on glue dots. So, I will just pick them off and I put them a third of the way down, about a quarter of an inch in. Do the same with that one. Noticed how I took one and then missed one and then took one. Right, these I'll peel them off with the glue dot and stick them on top of the other one. So they've both got a glue dot in. Line this up so it's not out of shape or nothing. Fold it down and press the glue dots down. And there we have it. Perfectly aligned magnets. So lift them up and we can glue down the paper on top. Right, when you're gluing down your paper just make sure you rub it around your magnet. This one needs some extra glue round about this way. Right, and we'll
this one I would rub from the inside on this one down the edges past the magnets just to make sure that the paper is well and truly stuck now you could decorate these and put things on it but if you do that remember they're in a handbag and they'll get more than likely knocked off unless you glue them right flat I just leave them plain like that and, and that is it I've made about six of these now nice little tissue boxes and they won't get squashed in your handbag because they've got double so, apart from this side, double sided, um, double the width, should I say, thickness card, which makes it harder to squash. I hope you like that little project. If you do, give us a thumbs up. <clears throat> if you'd like to see more of my projects, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.